my name is Hogan Peters and I'm the founder of Your Environment's Wax. The reason you wax a surfboard is for traction and grip. Without wax, you're going to be sliding all over your board. Everyone waxes their board in different ways, but I'd say right now the, the hottest ticket when you're putting the base coat on, which is the harder wax, would be waxing up in like a cross pattern. And then you go over those lines in little circles, and then you make them into bigger circles. And basically by doing that, those you know different directions will accumulate and it'll bump up. You want bumps on the top of the wax because then it allows for even more grip and traction. When you start feeling like a weight difference in your board, that's a really good time to scrape and de-wax. Or if you're noticing that the stick is totally going away because it's too dirty, then that's a time to scrape it off and, you know, re-wax. I'd say the biggest thing that gets into it would be like sand on the beach um, and over time that sand darkens. Another thing is when people are traveling with their boards and they put them on roof racks and on like let's say those darker roof racks, those peel a bit and that like kind of stuff is what gets stuck on the boards. If you have a board that sits for a really long time too, the wax just inherently is going to get drier and darker. So we use paint scrapers, any like old school plastic scraper that we see lying around, you know the bummer is you really don't want to be using too much plastic so you know better solution is even if you have you know, an old credit card or like an old AAA card or something that's got a bit of an edge on it. That scraper scraping as long as the wax has been warmed up enough, let it melt in the sun. Once it's melted in the sun, de wax with a card and it should be relatively, you know, easy. And the cool thing about heating it a lot is that it's just way easier to scrape off. Also, we make like a soap solution that gets into the wax and kind of makes it just easier to rub off. You want to have an angle with your wrist. You don't want to be jabbing it, like stabbing it straight into the board. But the cool thing is, if you think of it as like, you know, peeling paint, if you just get underneath it, it will peel with you. Traditional surf waxes, they used paraffin, which is part of the petroleum refinement process. So that ingredient um, in the wax is not good for the ocean, was not good for your skin, and the whole process in general, you know, is not good for the environment. The beeswax arrives, usually it comes in like 50 pound bricks. And we take those bricks into the shop, which is in El Porto, Manhattan Beach, California. Everything in here is electric or hand mixed. And we put everything in this big cauldron-esque boiler. Beeswax melts down in there. It takes a couple hours, depending on the weight. And then we add our tackifiers and, you know, our other ingredients. We mix it all up in this vat. Then we open the spigot, we take our crafts, and we walk through the hundreds and hundreds of molds, and we, we hand pour every single bar. We make a bunch of different formulas based on uh, temperature, softness, and stickiness. Whether you're surfing in cold water or tropical water, anything in between, you're always putting the base coat down first. Then we have our cold water wax, which is wax that's used in any temperature below 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you go up to the cool water wax. Cool water wax is slightly harder than the cold water wax, but still more or less the same stick. Then you go to the warm water wax. The warm water wax is now harder than the cold and the cool water wax. And then tropical would be the hardest wax that you put on top of the base coat. You're using that with you know, places like Costa Rica, Florida, Hawaii. Then we also have a soft top wax where that works in all temperatures. We get questions where, you know, what do you do when you take your wax off? And my answer is always, we reuse it. We started filtering the wax and making candles. So we repurpose it and, you know, make personal bars of wax. You know, it's always, it's always being reused, no matter what.